Hi guys, welcome back. I know it's been a little while. Um, I've had some updates on my hardware. I've now got a brand new computer. And also, I've finally received all my Fanatex stuff. So today we'll be looking at a, a my career race that I did. Uh, and how do I got? See, I got a slow start, Norton. Beat me to the first corner, slight knock up by him, but he holds position. I added my extra power, uh, dragged him all the way down. He's short straight, outbreak him, just hold him off on the outside. He gets very squirrely and ends up losing a couple of spots. Which works to my benefit because it's also given me a nice one and a half second lead. Um, as we go through this race, I made a bit of a mistake. Normally, after my practice sessions, I would revert engine parts, um, but for some reason, this race I did not revert engine parts. Um, just forgot. So, unfortunately, I am running with an engine that has well passed its sell by date. Um, and this race will be a matter of survival, basically, for me. Uh, I'm coming up to a nice two second early lead, but I know towards the end of the race I am going to be super down on power, and I'll also be lucky to even make the end of the race. But there's a nice early clean lap through the main final corner, got a 2.1 second lead. See, I'm losing time all the way down the straight. Like three seconds as we jump to an outboard shot. Got me followed by Botas, followed by Leclerc, I believe. Followed by Hamilton, followed by Vettel. Accidentally switched into the camera view there. Anyway, back on. Pretty good through the first and second sector, but through the third second sector, I'm losing about a second a lap, and that was showing up in qualifying. I just managed to hold on to first place. The one thing that I've been doing since the uh, Planetech stuff arrived is I've been fiddling with settings and making sure it's all set up. One thing that I haven't quite managed yet, not always perfect on the gears, so you'll sometimes see me drop one too many gears. Accumulating some wear on the MGUK. To manage this, we need to lower our ERS deployment mode. With an 8-speed box, it's very easy to flick the lever one too many times and just miss a gear. So I have been going through gearboxes quite early on in this, but that's one of the few things that should be a problem in this race. I think it's a relatively low gearbox. We're approaching the pit window. He'll be on the hards. It's only had a few races. The player's now got hot ass and he's chasing after me. Got to get down to under a second as we enter the second DRS zone. Mm. 
wear on these tires is kind of high. I tried going for the medium, but in uh, qualifying, but it, it didn't quite work out for me, so I had to start on the soft. Luckily, all my rivals also went with the same route, so let's see how we get on. Lap four now. We're looking right, at it, and we're probably on around lap seven or eight. Battery charge speed is suffering, and if it gets much worse, we session. could be forced to retire. There was the alternate strategy of hitting one, one or two laps earlier on the and then doing two medium uh, stints. I just felt towards the end of the race with, with my engine issues I couldn't be trying to force my way back through the field so I, I went with the safer option and soft hard and try and maintain track position for a while. The energy store is getting worn, reducing our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. Just back. Second and a half. This coming up to that first corner breaking point from from the final corner. Through here, a little bit of that shape on through there, so it's a much further but through here and you can see that's very slightly increasing. And you can see it decreasing again quite quickly. So this is going to be a problem for that race for me. I'm just going to have to manage it. Limit my fuel usage in the early stages of the race. Um, I've also got issues with my uh, energy recovery system, so I haven't got too much in the way of additional power to fall on. I actually quite like this Baku track. Relatively fast. Lots of nice tight, fiddly corners through here, through the castle section. And I select the right, right here for no issues with tire wear for a now. portion of Keep it. Taking care of them. Right, up. See the engine's already straining. I can't even get it up into the top gear from the, the top of the hill. Right down to say, pretty much the last one on the track. So we've got 1.3 from the clear. It's really difficult with the controller. You see that gap increasing as we go. At this point, I was seeing whether I could extend the life of the time. Can't. Window open. Let's box this out. Going to attempt to handle that. Just making through. Boxed in with this lap. Bottas has just come in. Pulled himself out of the pack. Try and set some quick laps and try and get ahead of it. Okay, there's a fair amount of wear to the engine now. Okay. Just be aware. We're Game keeping an eye on it. Time for this first and second section. The car's handling great. I can't have any complaints on that front. I just have zero power, and this long, long final straight is, is killing any any lap times. And so the start finish line is quite far towards the end of the uh, end of that straight, so it's going to be difficult to hold the guys off as they go through there as we switch back to the out side shots. Keeping with my traditional white, black and purple liveries. See how quickly Leclerc and the the room. Leclerc comes in right behind me. 
Hamilton stays on for another couple of laps, that's going to be better. So many pits we go. Trailer's already in his box, so I've got the Faro M1. Ferrari have released it today, uh, where we're going to come out in relation to him. Come on, switch the camera, and we're just behind him as we exit the pit, so it wasn't a great stop by my crew. And there's Bottas as well, Bottas has got us in the pit. He's on the medium tides as we squeeze back up the inside of Leclerc. A little bit naughty, forcing him wide, but avoiding a large portion of contact. We both got DRS, we come down this short straight on the brakes. Just get position on him, squeeze him out to the outside and start chasing after Bottas. So Bottas on the medium tire series so obviously going for a two-stop strategy. So we've just got to keep him in range at the moment. We don't need to uh, particularly push to try and pass him, but with that huge gaggle of cars in front of us, we've got to watch out where Hamilton and Vettel are going to come out on the Red Bulls after this stop. Got a Red Bull there, holding Bottas up. And looks like a couple of Alphas as well. That's helping our chase as we come through the uh, castle section, up through this fast sweeping left hander down on the brakes at the top of the hill. Back down, very easy to take too much curve and spirit sideways into the wall there. Right, we've just got to stay in touch with this. We've got DRS, we're going to release our curves a little bit. Try and give us that extra boost of power, we're not going to be able to get them down the straight. I already know that. that in my huge power disadvantage that I've got during this race. Just got holding the position as Bottas takes a look down the inside of the red ball, we're going into turn one. Are we going to make it? Yes, he just squeezes into the outside. But there's Vettel and Hamilton. Hamilton's definitely got us. Vettel's coming out ahead of us. We're going to go four wide into the second corner and clump. Oh, oh, that wasn't the neatest move ever. Four in one doesn't really go. It looks like at least one of the Faris and the Toro Rosso have picked up some damage. I think that's Vettel lost his front end plate on that contact. But we get away unscathed and we begin our chase after Hamilton. Normally I probably wouldn't put it there on that four wide situation. Had a little gap to go for and I stuck it in there knowing that I had to get Hamilton quickly otherwise the race would have been done. Meanwhile, what's he chasing after? He's chasing after the Alpha. We catch up nicely coming into the castle section. There's going to be no way through here so we're just going to keep it tight and tidy and try and stay on the back of him. And then try and use the slingshot, stay within range down the long straight and then on that short straight where top end speed isn't as important, you might be able to have a go at him under the brake like we did on the first lap. And here we go. Hamilton's running the back of that Alpha and we're through right up to the back of him as well. Brakes glowing, a little bit wide out of the last corner. Set his back a little bit. We're going to get DRS anyway. Look at that gap already appearing between us. Hamilton is on the outside, there's no way through there, so he tucks himself back inside. Alpha staying out on its soft tyres. One extra lap, it's obviously being very kind on its tyres right now. Hamilton's stuck behind the Alpha, that's going to give us a real shot if we can run out the back of him through turn two. right on his tail now. We'll pop the DRS, just try and stay as tight as possible like we did during the first one. First lap move. We're not going to be close enough I don't think. We're going to have a look but we're going to have to pull out of it but it's put Hamilton out of shape. Down this short little straight into the right hander. Hamilton covering position. We're going to do the over under on him. Switch to the outside. Can't quite make it stick but looking again to the outside through this S bend. Hamilton gets a little out of shape on the way in and so we've got exit speed to beat him. And then we're going to push him down this straight into the tight corner before we enter the castle complex and we've got him. So, I think we're up to about 7th place now but that's not the end of the world because we know there's going to be a lot of cars having a pit ahead of us. 
a little squirrely through the castle so it's Nick keeps Hamilton right on the tower and there's the Claire as well he's having a look Hamilton looking to the outside of me it's not going to be able to get past through this bit but the Leclerc's now going to the outside of Hamilton tries out breaking him and it looks like he's got him coming down the hill so Leclerc takes Hamilton too so Hamilton's lost two positions in one lap back onto the long far straight with a sweeping left right hander Slightly, but he's going to have a right move. Squeezing down towards the pit wall. Bits fly off. Leclerc's clipped the back of me as he's come down towards the pit straight. Another bit comes off. Oh, there's bodywork going everywhere, and Leclerc's completely shattered his front wing. So he's held Hamilton up, and Hamilton gets back by Leclerc. So a disaster for Ferrari. They've lost both cars out due to front wing damage. They're going to be able to stay in the race, but they're going to be a long, long way back. You're probably going to have to fight for the win. Well, I get very squirrely coming out there. The rear tyres are not like me right now, so I'm very cautious through the right hand and Hamilton's catching me all the time through this bit. This is not what I want to be doing. I want to be pushing on. It's just not happening for me. Little breathing room. Leclerc's act acting as a buffer, protecting us from the other cars chasing us as we go after the remaining cars. But as I say, they got to stop so as long as we can keep them in pit lane touching distance we'll be okay. Wide out of the castle section, not the end of the world. We take the drag up through this long left hand and we know how much of a game in on us all the way through here. We're gonna make a little bit of ground up on him through the braking zone, we get a good run out. Down the hill we go into the last corner. And we're going to have to push to try and make sure that we maintain this gap over Hamilton as we come over the start finish line. Mercedes doesn't look very quick. Has he also got some engine issues? We'll find out. Not catching us quite as quickly as the Ferraris were. As we come down the start finish straight. Now in the third position, there's only two cars left ahead. First, in comes Claire, in comes another car. I think that's Bottas had some issues. Ooh, the second corner we go, taking a lot of curve on the inside, but now powering over the short straight. Going through the middle of the track just to not really give Hamilton a lane to go in. And then back down to the right hand side, ready for the braking there. Clean her through there this time. Now we've got to push, try and make up a bit of a gap again through this short twitchy section in the castle we'll trying to build out that gap so we protect ourselves over the straight bouncing over the curb we go that's the RT shot as we watch ourselves come down towards the castle section very narrow through here no we're nice and quick box of curves on the inside sweep it through better through there this time so we've built up a bit of a gap as we enter this faster sector but we know we're at disadvantage we built the gap up to Hamilton it looks like over a second so he won't get the RS help on this one so it should be safe for another lap. Keep pushing on, try and get after Lance Stroll and Esteban Ocon who stayed out, they started the race on their hard tyres. I want to move his left hand side, trying to get some cool air on his engine. He is catching us but not as quickly as he needs to to get us by that first corner. straight, and quite a way off the back of us. We're going to 
push on here as we have done the last couple of laps. We're trying to save some energy as well, trying to protect that engine as best we can. We just thank for this race. As you saw earlier, we were already on 90% for the ICE, so it's not looking in the best shape right now. But we know with our pace here as far as each others are going to be coming back at us towards the end of the race. Back down the hill we go. So flash to the Renault and you see the other car in the background, Hamilton prowling, keeping an eye on us, keeping us honest. straight Hamilton's going to be gaining this the whole time he's still out of the other way away we come down on the first corner breaking break yes he's got DRS handy no no, he has got it, so he has got close enough, so he's going to be gaining us as we can't see his breaking points. We've really got to push, trying to build up that gap again. We're slowly gaining on the two cars in front, but as I say, it's not the end of the world if we don't catch him. He's got to keep him in range. They are going to be fast, though, we think, towards the end of the race. They're probably going to go hard soft. <coughs> getting any penalties in this race and cannot afford any time. Time loss to the other guys, very wide out there. This time he's going to be a bit of a through the left, but he's quite way back, so we're going to survive this gap. He is not looking fast either. If this is the way the race is going to end, we should be comfortable holding Hamilton off towards the line, but there's a long way to go. We're only at about half race distance so far. Red Bull catching us, I believe that's Albon. Albon's making a charge, trying to put himself into winning position. Back down the start, finish straight, losing time all the time, and Albon is gaining quite quickly on the back of us. He's going to become a problem pretty soon, I fear.
back to the onboard and you see how bad that engine is struggling right now. Really having to work overtime just to try and survive, let alone give us any power down the straight. Not really got anything at our disposal in this race. All our components are looking a bit worse for wear. Off on a stroll with the others fighting it out. Lap 15 of 26. A little bit wide through there, took a bit too much depth. Ooh, in the gap at about 2.4 seconds currently for Hamilton, who's now got Albon within the RS zone, so he's going to want to try and push as best he can to try and gain a bit of an advantage to the damage. And about half a second now, so he's really got to keep pushing on. The album is going to be on us very quickly, early on the brakes down the hill. Here we go. Oh, we've got a 6-7 gear for it. We've got to push on, I think, at 8. We only get about 180. Seven miles an hour right now. We should be over 200, so we're losing about 15 miles an hour Keep on the straight. Tires. You guys your tires. You can see the right down on our tail. Hamilton less than a second. Albon right behind him by a couple of tenths. So really tightening up through this bit. See Albon swarming the back of Hamilton through the second corner. We're going to take a look at Breaking zone doesn't look like it. Not in holds position. Away from that inside curve. Really upset the car if you take too much of it. Probably around lap 18 to 20 is the target, and he's going to try and go on with those soft tyres to finish the race. You know, welding French for us to take the lead once they come into the pit. Hamilton now within a second of us, Albon on the back of him. He's going to cover the inside, you see them getting larger and larger in our mail. Mirrors point and have a little look to the outside, can't make it. Settles back down. Come up to the second corner. Everyone's going to get the RS up. Must through this bit. So no one problems. Hamilton gets a little square at turn two. So we're going to try and push this can. It's half step right now. And we are all down turn three. Over there. I'm going to push on again. Try and build up some of that gap that we have. But no, we're going to struggle. Holding that for the rest of the way. Need to bring it by a bit curved that time. And then we try to get it away from the wall on the end. We'll be able to build up the gap as much as we would like. We're going to get to that second now, which we know won't be enough. And we'll come over to start things from. And we've also got to be looking in his mirrors, watching where Albon's going. Seeing what's coming around. That ate him in while our teammate is not really involved in this race by the look of it. He's working around towards the back of two Williams, so it's really not helping out on our race as we can't be tested. Where we are, we're only at point six, so they're going to be right on our tail going into that one. Really going to have to push. Open up our DLR to try and give ourselves 
that it boosts speed. We're up to what, 194, 195. Still nowhere near the top speed, but still better than what we have been getting. Hamilton again looks the outside, looks like he's got us. We're going to be later seconds. on the brakes, hold the inside line. Forcing a little wide on exit, and Hamilton has to sit back down, and now he's got to come at his inside as Albon looks towards the outside of him. Go back up onto the <coughs> short back straight. That Albon taking up to the outside. Position. Mm, the passing opportunity is pretty much for this lap, so again it's back on and build back out. Meanwhile, while we were fighting, Renault and the racing point pulled away again, about four seconds between us as well. It would be nice to use the buffer, but no luck in this one. Almost touching the wall through the castle, but all the position, staying in third position and then flying in the gears up, up the hill through the sweeper once again. This lap's been a little better for us. We've got to get up to 1.2 seconds at the top of the hill. Can we keep pushing that down through this final tight corner, trying to keep Hamilton out of the RS zone? Boris put him right in the clutches of the album through his lap. Through his left, right hand, flat out of the noise of the walls. Down on the start, finish straight, 1.3. Hock on, and hit, stroll in, hit, so we're going to take the lead here. Album got past Album. Go. So Albon did get past Hamilton. Hamilton obviously struggling a little bit like we are, but nowhere near as badly as we have been. But that loss of power means that Honda powered Red Bull of Albon push forward to get past him. Get to fourth place in about five seconds. Got Perez there, closely followed by the Sappen, so they may come into this and we really start scrapping through the last ever lap. Right on the Little puff of smoke coming from us as well. We're really struggling now. Cannot build that gap up, taking a lot of excess curve. Probably more than what we were supposed to through there. Another puff of smoke. We're, we're not going to make the end of this one. It would be what it looks like right now. I think we screaming at this little bed. We just can't right now. Ooh, very loose coming out of there. We'll get off the power. Alvin's going to take a look at this down the hill that he's just held off the gap, but he's going to be really close to us as we come up to the start finish line. Hamilton. Not, however, able to capitalise just as much. He's struggling. So he's hanging off the back there. Down the left, down the right. Now on the right on the panel. He's going to have the DRS power. Which way is he going to go? He's to the outside of us. A little bit of bumping and grinding. He's already got position with us, so we're going to tuck in behind him, going over the start finish line. Hamilton's Hamilton smoking. Hamilton looks like he's terminal. As we come through turn one. We're smoking. Hamilton's smoking. Hamilton's out of the race. So it's just us two right now. Albon's good in position. Can we get him up through this little section coming up towards turn three? If we don't, we know Albon's going to have the pace of the up and just disappear. We take the dive up the inside. Try and force him wide, but can't quite manage it. Album cuts across. We dive back up the inside. Wheels bang. But we have made the position. We've held him. And got back into the lead. And that is vital for us to maintain track position through this bit where we know we're going to be slightly quicker and can build a slight advantage. As you see, Perez is now pulling back up onto us. Really nice race with the racing point team so far. With Perez there and Verstappen just behind him. Looking menacing. Oh, 
warp us as much as I can do now. Can we make it another six, seven laps to the end of this race? Down the hill we go. A little better position than we were last time. Alvin has got back, probably saving some energy, trying to save one up for another lap or so. But we already know that he's going to be at us again, coming through this start finish straight. Try and protect against the wall the outside line and you see how our well, going to take a dive up the inside and he's still got us with the DRS help we're going to get him back under the braking and we're going to squeeze him out in full position just about so that is vital as you already see just with that pure raw pace advantage we're going to struggle to get it to the line ahead of Albon even if we manage to get that far into the race with the way our engine is He's dying out on us as we go along. Perez now coming into the act, Verstappen coming back. So it's really going to be tight towards the last couple of laps. the helicopter view. And down the hill, Albon's right on our gearbox again. He's going to have another go at us over the start finish line. Are we going to be able to hold this win? Or will we get, just have to concede and make the most of whatever points we can get with our dying engine? It's going to be tight though because if we Lose out that album, we're just going to have Perez and Verstappen and what looks like Botas now falling all over the back of us. And one again easily passes on the start finish straight. We're not going to be getting under braking through there, but we're going to try and stay in the DRS zone. Engine just totally smoking now, not even giving us wisps, just smoking away. We get good traction out of turn two over this short straight. We've got DRS help. Should at least keep us in range as we come up towards turn three. Can we make a dive up the inside? We take a look. We look like we've got the position. Albon has to give way to us. And we've managed to get the position back once more. It's going to be a real ding dong battle all the way through till the end.
four cars, five cars, all in the same frame of six cars now. And actually, Ocon was involved in that battle, so everyone tightened up as we come back up through the castle section. I don't worry about what's going on with the back of my car, you just gotta keep doing the best you can to catch the engine while we're in as fast and smooth as possible, trying to make up and about you through that middle section as we come back down over the top of the hill, back down through that tight left hander. That one's looking a little closer to it this time around. Outside of us, full position, and now we jump ahead a little bit. We are into lap 24, so just two and a bit more laps to go. Down towards turn three, we go. Verstappen gets Perez, Perez, Verstappen switch positions, and Perez falls to position again. Stroll in there with his soft tyres. It looks like Ocon had to re enter the pits. I don't know what his problem was, but he's dropped back out of that frame. On the mini map, it's us, what about Albon, Perez, the staff and Stroll, Bottas is in there, and then you've got the two McLaren slightly further back, they're probably out of position, um, too far back to fight in this one, but at least the top six is going to have a chance of taking the win with us struggling to full position and backing up the rest of the field into itself. Less than a second lead as we come down the hill. That one's going to be all over our tail as we come over that crest and now down into this left hander. A little bit too much curve through there. Jeff has now decided that our time's bad enough and he wants us to come in, but we know we can't come in. If we're going to tumble outside the top 10 and still not have the engine mode, so we're just going to keep going, keep trying to carry on as best we can. That one again, looking to the outside, he's going to take a run. Got the position as we now try and break it into turn one. Tight. Bingo now with between us and the barriers and Albert. He's held position. We're going to squeeze him on turn two, and now we're going to get DRS help. He won't. But the power of that Honda against our sick little Mercedes. He's going to have a run, and now Perry's going to look to the inside of us as well, and we're going to have to outbreak both of them in a turn three. Running that one just by just about whole position, but now there's definitely a gaggle of cars fighting over podium spots. No idea who's going to come out of the top here. Saving fuel as best we can, but we're now got to just turn the wick up on it and try and use as much as we can over these last couple of laps. Use everything that engine is going to have. We're going to let it go to its grave straight after this race. You just got to survive two more laps. Give us everything you got. So we switch back now as we coming down the start finish straight to enter the penultimate lap of the race. Albon's a little far back. He's going to be saving up for that final lap. But he's still got enough run. He's going to go to the outside of us. Easy clear as Perez now coming towards the inside of us. We muscle him under the brakes. Stroll is now under attack from Bottas. Bottas going around the outside of him as we chase Albon back down. Trying to regain that first position one more time. We're on the fine second to last lap. DRS open, look into the inside this time. Breaking Albon, trying to squeeze him down into the wall, slowing down as much as we can. Perez now having a run at Albon. Can't make it stick. Bottas in there. Yeah. 
Verstappen had pit. Looks like he's now had some wing damage in an earlier instant. So now it's just the Fivers fighting for this win. Slightly close to the inside corner on there. Puts us slightly out of shape through the rest of the complex. And one, two, three, four, five. All in close contention. Well this, I think this is the last lap of the race. Albon looking at the inside, looking at the outside. Cannot make it stick. Can we survive? Can we make it to the start finish line? We could easily drop from first to fifth before the start finish line on this last lap. Through the final corner now we go. We're going to get a grandstand finish here to the helicopter shot, giving us the overhead look. Left, right, one last time, and now we're dragging down the start finish straight. Albon's got a run of us. He's going to look to the outside. We're going to squeeze him down. He clips the wall, has to back out of it. But he's coming back at us again. Leaving from one side to the other. He's put us out of shape, and we just hauled over the line. Just photo finish to see us through, beating Albon by 0.03 seconds. Perez and Bottas finish on exactly the same time. And there's Aitken right down in 20th place, just to give you an idea of where our teammate is. Now we look at the standing, we've got a nice 67 point lead over Hamilton, who had a bit of a shocker in this race, but the Mercedes team holds a 50 point advantage going into the next race of the season, which is Canada. So thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope to give you a rig uh, video soon and we'll catch you later.